Electro-Optic Systems, EOS, an Australian defense technology firm headquartered in Canberra, has introduced its latest innovation, the R-500 Remote Weapons Station. At the International Defense Exhibition and Conference, IDX 2025 in Abu Dhabi on February 19th, 2025. This unveiling marks a significant evolution from its predecessor, the R-400, and positions the R-500 as a cutting-edge solution for modern warfare, blending artificial intelligence, counter-unmanned aerial system capabilities, and modular weaponry to meet the demands of an increasingly complex battlefield. As stated by EOS CEO Dr. Andreas Schwer, the modern battlefield is evolving rapidly, and armed forces need systems that keep pace with emerging threats. The R-500 has been developed with direct operational insights to provide reliability, precision, and adaptability in the most challenging environments. The R-500 is a robust, multi-role platform designed for armored vehicles, tactical systems, and unmanned ground vehicles offering enhanced lethality, survivability, and situational awareness over the R-400. It features a baseline armament of an M230LF dual-feed 30mm cannon and a 7.62mm machine gun, with options to integrate a 25mm cannon, two anti-tank guided missile tubes, compatible with Javelin, Spike, or Tau, and 70mm rockets for beyond line-of-sight engagements. Its high stowed ammunition capacity ensures prolonged combat effectiveness, while Stanag Level 2 add-on armor bolsters survivability against ballistic threats. The system's standout features include an AI-driven targeting system with high-performance edge hardware and a CUAS suite, incorporating radar and a high-elevation design to counter drone threats. With a gross weight of 660 kg, 320 kg without payload, and an effective range exceeding 2,500 meters, the R-500 surpasses the R-400's 2,000-meter range, providing a tactical edge in standoff engagements. Its 360-degree sensor suite, featuring stabilized electro-optical and infrared systems, ensures all-weather, day and night operability, making it a versatile tool for multi-domain operations. Australia's procurement plans for the R-500 remain speculative as of March 2025, given its recent unveiling and the absence of confirmed orders from the Australian Defence Force. However, EOS's strong domestic track record, such as the 2020 contract to supply 251 RWS units worth 94 million Australian dollars for Bushmaster and Hawkeye vehicles, suggests the ADF could be an early adopter. The R-500's development aligns with Australia's defence priorities, outlined in the 2023 Defence Strategic Review, which emphasises autonomous systems, long-range strike capabilities, and CUAS defences amid rising regional tensions in the Indo-Pacific. With prototype development complete and low-rate initial production slated for 2025, EOS plans a live-fire demonstration in Cure 2025, likely influencing procurement timelines. If adopted, the ADF might integrate the R-500 into its armored vehicle fleet or emerging UGV programs, such as those showcased at the 2024 Land Autonomous Systems demonstration. Budget constraints and competing priorities like the AUKUS partnership could delay domestic orders, but the system's ITAR-free status enhances its export potential, potentially offsetting costs through international sales. Deployment scenarios for the R-500 in Australia would likely focus on enhancing land force capabilities and protecting critical infrastructure. Its compatibility with UGVs and wireless control suite positions it as a force multiplier for remote operations, reducing personnel risk in high threat zones like Northern Australia, where the ADF maintains a strategic presence. The CUAS radar and AI targeting could counter drone swarms, a growing concern given China's advancements in unmanned systems, while its missile and rocket options provide flexibility for engaging ground and air targets. Integration with platforms like the Boxer Combat Reconnaissance Vehicle or future UGVs under the Land 400 program seems plausible, given EOS's history of tailoring systems for ADF needs. Beyond Australia, the R-500's debut at IDEX signals a push into Middle Eastern markets, building on EOS's 500-plus units deployed in the UAE 
and a new collaboration with Calidus to establish a regional RWS hub. The R500's role in Australia's defence ecosystem extends beyond tactical utility to strategic signalling. As a homegrown solution, it reinforces Australia's ambition to develop sovereign defence capabilities, reducing reliance on foreign suppliers amid global supply chain disruptions. Its AI and CUAS features align with the ADF's focus on smart systems to deter adversaries in a contested Indo-Pacific, where drones and precision-guided munitions are proliferating. Compared to the R400, the R500 offers greater survivability through armor and a broader effector range, making it a more comprehensive platform for hybrid warfare. While the R400 excels in precision and reliability, proven in combat across multiple theaters, the R500's advancements position it as a future-ready asset, potentially replacing or complementing older systems as the ADF modernizes. Regionally, the R500 faces competition from established players like Turkey's Aselsan and Norway's Kongsberg, whose RWS offerings are widely adopted. Aselsan's SARP Dual RWS, for instance, integrates a 12.7mm machine gun and 40mm grenade launcher, or ATGM options, weighing around 300 kg, lighter than the R500's 320 kg base weight. It boasts a 2,000 meter range and advanced stabilization, but lacks the R500's AI-driven targeting and CUAS radar, limiting its drone defense role. Kongsberg's protector M153, a mainstay in US and NATO forces, supports Javelin missiles and a 12.7 millimeter gun or 40 millimeter cannon with a 1,800 meter effective range and a weight of 35 to 25 to 285 kilograms, depending on configuration. While highly reliable and battle-proven, it doesn't match the R500's ammunition capacity or 2,500-meter range, and its CUAS capabilities require separate integration, unlike the R500's built-in solution. In the CUAS domain, the R500 competes with EOS's own Slinger, a lighter system with a 30-millimeter cannon effective beyond 1 km against drones and 2,000 meters against ground targets. While Slinger excels in mobility and counter-drone precision, the R500's broader weapon options and higher ammunition capacity make it better suited for sustained, multi-role engagements. Compared to high-energy laser systems like EOS's Titanus, which targets UAS with pinpoint accuracy, the R500 offers kinetic versatility over energy-based solutions, though future integration with Hayel could create a hybrid powerhouse. Overall, the R500 stands out for its balance of AI-driven precision, CUAS innovation, and modular design, giving it an edge over lighter, less adaptable competitors like SARP or Protector. Its heavier weight and advanced features come at a higher cost, likely exceeding the R400's 375,000 Australian dollars per unit based on the 2020 ADF contract, but this is justified by its future-proof capabilities. For Australia, the R500 could anchor a layered defense strategy, complementing lighter systems like the R150 and Slinger, while challenging regional rivals to match its technological leap. Its success hinges on post-demonstration contracts in 2025, but with EOS's global footprint and Australia's strategic needs, the R500 is poised to redefine remote lethality in the Indo-Pacific and beyond.